He's been a giant of the political stage for 20 years. Here, you can meet the man in miniature. This Naples shop is churning out tiny Berlusconis to put under your Christmas tree. Alongside his girlfriend, Francesca, and those megastars of the Italian cast list, the Pope and the Premier League football player. The vote he himself faces is of a different magnitude. It's seen as a done deal that the Italian Senate will decide to strip him of his seat. His dominance, if not ended, seriously undermined. A move Berlusconi denounces as a plot by his enemies. What is this called? It is called a coup d'etat. Italian law says Berlusconi's conviction for tax fraud bars him from parliament. Prime Minister Enrico Letta's centre-left Democratic Party and the five-star movement of former comedian Beppe Grillo say they'll vote against him. Exit Berlusconi, enter a new element of political tension that could drag down reform of a struggling economy. Even if political commentators like Elisabetta Fiorito of Radio 24 say he might fight another day. I've been hearing the end of Berlusconi for 20 years, so I don't know, because the man has seven lives like the cats. I think he wants to go to election again, and if he's at the opposition and he can fight against Europe, against uh, German authority on, you, in you, on Europe and on Italy, he will have a chance. Much, though, depends on what the law does if the vote is carried. Berlusconi's lawyers say it's unrealistic the 77-year-old will face arrest over other charges, including paying for sex with a minor. For tax fraud, he's likely to spend a year doing community service. Due to his age, prison is unlikely, if technically still possible.